And traveling to Orlando from Tampa in just a matter of minutes. A new system called Hyperloop could do the trick. News Channel East Ryan Hughes is live along I-4 in Polk County tonight. So what's the likelihood of this actually becoming a reality? Because we talk about this from time to time, yet yeah. it hasn't happened. Keith, good evening to you. It is years away, but leaders, they have it on their minds as a way to reduce the I-4 traffic problems. The future of travel could one day seem out of this world, but happen right here in the Bay Area. It wouldn't hurt to see such an advanced technology come, here, come to Florida. Regional leaders will meet June 6th to talk about possibly using a Hyperloop system to quickly move people between Tampa and Orlando. Hyperloop doesn't use traditional train tracks. Instead, pods whip through tubes at speeds up to 700 miles an hour. People could avoid this, the seemingly constant traffic problems on I-4 between the two cities. It really could take us to that next level. In Lakeland, Transportation and Development Manager Chuck Barmby thinks Hyperloop could connect this city with others in a way never seen before. The interstate system, the transcontinental railroad, I mean, those are all things that, uh, you know, were big ideas, and that's what we really need to think about to take our system forward. It's not a done deal, but leaders from California-based Hyperloop Transportation Technologies are expected to try to convince local leaders why Hyperloop should appear on the drawing board. My best guess would be that the likelihood of that occurring is probably a little premature, uh, but it's good that people are talking about mobility options. And a system between Orlando and Miami also being considered. We're live tonight in Polk County. I'm Ryan Hughes, News Channel 8.